Greetings, Louis, and welcome to another video. So, we are in post Legacy of Destruction, but today I am not going to show you a Legacy of Destruction deck or a strategy that has been helped by Legacy of Destruction. Today, I kind of wanted to show you something else because, as you can see from the screen, I have a very positive win record. Uh, despite me being on low rated, I kind of still wanted to showcase you this deck because it is a strategy that I have been testing uh, throughout many years. Well, not many years, but at least one or two years. And it always fascinates me whenever I play this deck and I just get a lot of victories because a lot of people just don't know what this deck does. Uh, the deck I'm talking about is called Mayakachi. Uh, for those who don't know, Mayakachi debuted in Heaven and Summoners. Uh, it then got res uh, support in Magnificent Mavens. For those who don't remember what that set was, that was the set where the Ichizu cards came out. And Hidden Summoners is the set where introduced both Prank Kids, Neptis, and they also introduced this archetype. Uh, I do have older Mayakachi videos on this channel. If you f want to have a more thorough explanation on what they do and how they play out, I encourage you to go watch those videos because uh, those videos are pretty much one of the first videos I made in this channel. And they're kind of a little bit buried. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you some replays and I'm going to be talking about this deck a little bit and explaining to you what's so powerful about this strat strategy. Because this deck has a one card combo and if that one card combo resolves, this deck is just as scary to deal with than something like Snake Eyes. It is more vulnerable to hand traps and it is uh, a synchro based strategy. So dimensional barrier can stop you, uh, which is very unfortunate, but you do have other tools in your arsenal that can just like let this strategy go through and play it out uh, very consistently. So here's one replay that I had. This is against a uh, voiceless voice. Well, voiceless Drytron, uh, so to say. Um, I don't win this duel, however, I kind of wanted to show you uh, this combo. Basically, if you open Daki or Yoki Musume, which is the reason I'm maxing out on both, you can uh, es essentially start what is called the Daki loop. Uh, for those who don't know what the Daki loop is, basically what is going to happen is upon summoning a Mayakashi from the graveyard, the Daki gets to trigger and Daki uh, basically special summons herself. And Daki is not hard once per turn. So what's going to end up happening is uh, my opponent already knows what the loop does. So I'm just going to be sending everything to the graveyard. Uh, in case you got lost in everything that just happened, basically every time I summon from the extra deck, the Daki comes back. So you can go Synchro into 5, Synchro into 7, Synchro into 9, Synchro into 11. Link 2, Link 3, Link 2, Link 3, Link 2, Link 3, and then you Link 4. And you're probably wondering what all these cards do. So now let's read them all by one, one by one. Uh, Yukiona uh, is basically skill drain for monsters that are banished. So rip Flounderies and Thunder Dragons. The second effect of Yukiona is if a card effect or if a monster effect was activated in the graveyard or a monster was special summoned from the graveyard in a separate chain, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls and change its attack to zero. Basically like a uh, built-in uh, infinite impermanence. And take note, this effect can be used up to twice per turn. So this is something that throws people off sometimes. And the other thing to uh, mention about this effect is that the negation is permanent. Uh, it's not until the end of the turn. So uh, if your opponent just ends on those monsters, you can just start picking apart their entire board and just negating every monster one by one until they have a full board of zero zero monsters. All the Mayakashi Synchros can special, su uh, can special summon themselves from, from the graveyard if a, if a monster got destroyed. 
Uh, basically, if a link monster got destroyed, you can summon uh, Gacha Dukoro. If Gacha uh, is destroyed, you can summon Yoko. If Yoko gets destroyed, you can special summon uh, Tengu. Then Tsuchigomo. Then Guruma. And that's the end of the loop. Uh, it doesn't have to be like specifically, specifically these names. They can just be like any level 5 synchro, any level 7 synchro, any level 10, every link monster. But the way this deck works, you're going to use your entire extra deck. That's why you only see like three cards on the extra deck left. And that pretty much means that you're going to rely on the destruction of the other uh, monsters in order for these Mayakashis to trigger from the graveyard. Now you're probably wondering, this is a very proactive thing. Why would you like play a strategy that just depends on your opponent uh, destroying your cards? Well, the Link 3 uh, Mayakashi has the effect that it can banish itself from the graveyard and in special summon any zombie synchro monster that is in your graveyard or banished. So essentially what this means is that Yukiona can special summon any Mayakashi from your graveyard or any Mayakashi that gets banished. Uh, Dokuro can make itself unaffected. Yoko is a Trident. Tengu is basically a Trident. Uh, a Trident but for spell and traps. Suchigumo is a Mel 3. Uh, Oboroguruma uh, basically makes all your monsters uh, undestructible by battle. So this is basically the end of the loop, and you're probably wondering what's Golden Lord doing here, and why are these Elder Traps uh, like part of your deck? There are two ways to play Mayakashi. Uh, basically, one is like a zombie turbo deck. Just use as many zombie extenders as you can in order to just facilitate the zombie loop and just keep summoning all your monsters. The other uh, way to play is with Eldish, and the reason Eldish is really powerful uh, is because you are given other layers of interruption besides just your graveyard. And that's pretty much something that just makes a lot of decks very, very strong. Like you'll see here, we're going to mill three. We milled one of the Eldish traps. We used one of the Eldish traps for Golden Lord. And now you see like three sets. And you see this setup, and you see the graveyard setup. So essentially, you have Golden Land Forever, which is basically like a Omni Negate, as long as you control Golden Lord. Uh, you have Hakero, which is basically DD Crow. You have Elixir that can reborn any Mayakashi from the graveyard. And take note, any Mayakashi that gets reborn by Elixir does trigger their effect. So essentially you have options from the graveyard uh, like in many ways possible. And then you have Yukiona that can just banish herself to just special summon these guys. And take note, if, it, if this or this gets destroyed, you get to trigger all your other Mayakachis from your graveyard. Uh, so this is not the easiest board to get rid of. Uh, like, if you see the equivalent of this, like, in another deck in the format, is not as powerful. And this is, like, one of the really cool things that just makes my Akashi be playable. Uh, I'm going to play this duel out. I'm not going to win this game because I do misplay a fair amount. Uh, but I want you to understand that they opened both Change of Heart and Dark Ruler no more. And their engine and they're still going to waste pretty much everything in their resource in order to get rid of everything we control on the board I think the replay got bugged but uh, you pretty much get the idea uh, of what happened here I'm going to showcase you another duel. This is uh, against Branded, and this is a one card combo. This is basically just summoning Hajun. Uh, my opponent lets it go through, so we're pre pretty much doing the entire Ducky Loop. Something else I want to mention about the Ducky Loop uh, after like Hajun resolves, 
if Hajun ever resolved or if you open with Yuki Musume and Daki, this combo can play through Valor and Imperm. Valor and Imperm does nothing to this deck. Uh, Ash Blossom also doesn't do anything if you have your loop already established. Uh, Ash Blossom can hurt you from Hajun and it can hurt you from uh, Yuki Musume. But if you get past that first like gate, you're pretty much open to just summoning everything from, uh, like your graveyard. Well, some uh, spitting out of your extra deck to your graveyard, because you don't have to worry about Valor, you don't have to worry about Imperm, you don't have to worry about Skill Drain, you don't have to worry about uh, Ash Blossom after the first summon. You don't have to worry about a lot of different cards. Pretty much one of the only hand traps that really hurt you would be, uh. DD Crow. That's pretty much like the only one. Uh, Base deals don't hurt you because the only like light and dark in your extra deck is the Gashadukuru. And this doesn't matter too much because Yukiona can just special summon uh, the Dokoro back from Banished. And that makes your entire uh, Mayakashi setup like online. But. If this replay doesn't pause or doesn't like, yep. Uh, see if this goes through. Now you're going to see this board is a lot more stickier. Like we still have the counter trap. We have Hakero. We have Conquistador. We have Elixirs. We have both Elixirs, which means that we can summon two, up to two Mayakashis from the graveyard. Uh, three if you want to count the Yukiona, so that's three, th three free summons. And if your opponent somehow gets rid of this entire like board, uh, all these cards can recover themselves. So it kind of feels like Snake Eye in a way, same way Snake Eyes have recovery with Flamber's Dragon resolving. You pretty much have recovery with just like your Elish traps. And since all the Mayakashis float, uh, this is just a really hard board to break, like, entirely. Uh, we chug on the Golden Lord Summon. We we see that they're both we're, they're on two copies of Thrust. They grab back, they grab Branded Fusion, they activate, Branded, they activate Thrust, Thrust goes first Feather Duster. We do Golden Eye Forever. They resolve Branded Fusion. Branded Fusion is resolving. So, I kind of make a misplay here. I chug on the Oyuki Ona, forgetting entirely that uh, Gachi Dukuro can special summon itself from Oyuki Ona. And you will see that I actually forgot to resummon the Kashi Dokoro. However, we do summon the Wheel Mayakashi. And we're trying to resolve Mirror Jade. During the end phase, we're going to do White Destiny. White Destiny is going to bring back Yoko. And if Yoko resolves, we're just going to pop the Albion because it's just free value. Because they already sent another Albion in Grave. Um... They end up banishing the Yoko, and that's not going to matter at all, because we still have one Yukiona left uh, in our graveyard, and Yukiona can actually special summon from banished. So this Yoko is going to get its value on the next turn, as depending on what player we do next turn. So we opt to summon Typhon here. Uh, basically, if you face like Branded or you face like any super combo heavy deck that just vomits a lot of monsters, uh, this deck can actually make Typhon. And Typhon is not that bad in this deck because between your Elish traps, like your Elish spell and traps, and between uh, Yuki Ona still in your graveyard uh, for the next turn, you have a lot of ways to play with your resources after Typhon. So essentially, Typhon resolved. Typhon is going to bounce the Albion. We're going to activate Mayakashi's return. This grabs Ghost Me's Girl. We're going to use Elish uh, Effect to, summon, to send uh, Ghost Me's Girl. Uh, 
another thing about this deck that it makes it really really scary and like i feel like uh eventually this deck will be respected someday is because of this trap a lot of people already know about this track card they already know about the transaction rollback uh combo with beatrice but for those who don't know uh this card is actually part of this archetype and it's actually searchable because of mayakachi return so essentially this deck is really 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 close to like being really really powerful so we as you can see here we just banish our resources they allure darkness they whiff the allure is resolving they try to attack we use yuki ona and that's the end of the game uh those are all the replays i'm going to be showing you uh I just wanted to talk about this deck a li for a little bit because I feel like this is a deck that pretty much no one respects. Nobody knows that this deck exists outside of like dual links players. And I'd say if you're looking just for a casual deck to just play like maybe on your locals or maybe like online. Uh, like, I had a really good track record with this deck. This deck does have a few specific, like, ways of interacting with your cards. But I'd say, like, for what it's worth, i say this deck is actually phenomenal. Uh, it is, like, a one-card combo deck. It has, like, very, very uh, specific niche interactions. And the most important part is not your opponent's... Not many of your opponents will know what your cards do. So that's a huge advantage for you as well. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to talk about Mayakashi. I do really like this deck. I know that this deck is not like tier 1 or tier 2 or tier 3 or anything. However, if you get to resolve everything, like if you get to resolve like the Daki loop, this deck feels so incredibly powerful. Like it's it's just as powerful as like the other meta contending decks that we have at the moment but yeah uh that has been it from me i hope you found this video informative to your liking and understanding uh keep practicing and keep dueling